Hello, I'm Michaela, and this is the weather book tag. And this book tag is basically just me talking about books that happen that I happen to read during certain seasons or certain types of weather and so and so on. And there's a the person that I got this idea from is Paul. It Paul reads, and I'll put his channel down below. And if I find who originally did it, I'll try and remember to put this there too. And this tag is in two parts. And I'm just going to go straight into the first one. And the first one is rain. And for this one, it's more to do with the cover than anything else. Um, and that is Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. And there's a puddle with drips and stuff in it um, from the rain. Um... You know, it's not necessarily something I'd read on a rainy day um, because I read pretty much everything on a rainy day. It's just whatever I'm reading at the time. But for the cover and the face value of this one, I've chosen Into the Water. And uh, this book is about a woman called Jules, whose sister, who they think commits suicide. But they don't think... She but Jules doesn't think she actually did, and it's finding out what really went on um, in regards to her death. And the next one is Hot and Sunny, and both the cover and the content of this book is something very summary. Um, it's Dream a Little Dream by G. Vanna Fletcher, and obviously the cover is very bright. It's very warm and like sunny looking. So on that, it's worth just mentioning it and mentioning it anyways. But it is a very summary read, something that you want to pick up. It's soft, fluffy, and a quick, easy book to read. Like so, for that, it's a simple, easy pick. And in this one, the main character has to spend an awfully ridiculous amount of time around her ex-boyfriend, which she hasn't got over yet. But she's also hoping to try and find someone new and like without really thinking about it too much at the same time. But eventually she does find somebody. Um it's not really a spoiler, but she starts having like premonitions of this person and eventually the the meet again after years of university. Um so there is always that. Um the next one is Snow and for that I've picked out two short stories um, and I have other stuff on my shelf that would work very well with that and I'll probably give them a mention as well and the first one is Christmas with Billy and Me by G Fletcher the same dream, a dream little dream same author but a first book was called Billy and Me and this is a short story to go with that which is really cute it's set in the winter and it's just totally lush I also have Winter's Snow by Carrie Hope Fletcher, which is another short story. And it's not necessarily set in snowy weather, but the title is very much a winter one, which is nice. And it, again, it's a very cute story. Um, there are other books on the shelf. Um, there's one called The Snow Child, which is a retelling of a Russian fairy tale. I think there's Let It Snow by... John Green and a couple of other authors as well um, and even a children's book called Christmas Horus by Tom Fletcher and all of these Fletchers are related in some way you know Tom and G are husband and wife and his sister is there too. The next one is Cloudy and Grey and for that I've chosen mostly for the cover which is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin and obviously it's quite a it's a nice cover, but it's quite dull with the clouds and stuff, so it fits in with that quite well. So, now I've just chosen that, and most people have heard of Game of Thrones, so they kind of get some kind of idea that it's about a throne, it's about royal families and bloodshed and like all that fun stuff. Um, so I haven't finished the series yet, and not what I plan to. Um, I got about halfway through and kind of started to hate it. So the third book was the best and then by the time I got to the fourth one it got crap. So I stopped reading it and 
put it down and didn't pick it back up and I don't really plan to anytime soon so I suppose it is a cloudy and grey series because I just can't do it and the last one is Windy and for that one I chose a book that is in the middle of a series called Drowned Wednesday by Garth Nix and this is part of the Keys to the Kingdom series and this is my favourite cover out of all of them, it's absolutely glorious. Um, and in regards to the wind, it has a ship with sails on, on the top and it has obviously to move, it has to use wind power. So I suppose the association's there. It's got pirates and stuff in, so that's cool. Um, I do like my pirate story and ships, mostly sky ships though. So normal ship makes a change, I suppose. And I'm going to go to part two, which doesn't have a name, it's just, it's just some questions about the weather and things and how I read. And the first one is, what kind of books do you like to read in certain kinds of weather? And normally in the winter I like my Christmassy, holiday-ish books. And in the summer I do sometimes pick up like a, like your regular summary read, um, like J. Fletcher's books and stuff. But... Between them, it's normally thrillers and things, you know, it's not too many YA books now. Um, it's some kids' books, because I like those. Just, you know, but other than that, there isn't really much, like, specific, anything specific with my re reading choices. Uh, the next question is, what is your favourite type of weather? And that is autumn and winter. Um, autumn's nice because it starts to get cooler, but it's not cold and i like winter because it's snowy and stuff and it's just nice and i don't like the summer though it's too hot and i've got hay fever so i've got every right to hate it so i do what weather do you like to read in the most and that is the winter because um in the summer it's harder to concentrate because you get too hot and sweaty and it's easier to concentrate when you're nice and snuggle snuggly and warm instead of being too hot you know, it's nice to come in from the cold than be cold, like too hot all of the time, I guess. And, it, and I, it's just, it makes it e an easier reading experience, I think. The last question is, who do you tag? And I'm going to tag Dawn from Dinosaur in the Library, if she hasn't already done this. Lorian from Lorian Kitty Books, if she hasn't done it either, then let's see if she can manage this and I also tag um, Binta from Positive Writer as well if she hasn't done it yet um, too and I hope you've enjoyed the video today and thanks for watching.